St. Mark's Basilica is known to be one of the best examples of Byzantine architecture in the world. So a lot of these relics that are on the facade here come from the Crusades and other expeditions. Venice has been known to be a merchant city. At the height of its political and commercial power in the 15th century, and the artist references this history by showing the merchant ships here in the back. The work, the Red Bridge, also is the Venetian landscape showed in this expressionistic later style of Anazaras. Now here, as opposed to the precise lines we looked at in her earlier style, all of the architecture, the structure, it's delineated through color. So as opposed to lines showing us what the structure is in a nostalgic look back at a familiar uh, church, for example, here the buildings are all separated through blocks of color and the texture, the color, it's playing uh, with the composition to kind of unite everything and uh, pull the viewer in here. The Florence Cathedral can be seen from any point in the city. Anazarov shows the structure dominating the Florentine landscape. This references the national pride seen in the cathedral but it is also harmonized with the landscape to indicate its historical and cultural importance. Like Monet's study of Rouen Cathedral, in her two compositions of Notre Dame du Paris, Anna Zarov focuses on light and its ability to affect the way we perceive the structure itself. By showing the cathedral at different times of day, she metaphorically adds a temporal aspect to the works by indicating the passing of time. The continuum of this cathedral being shown at various times also suggests the perseverance of Europe's sacred structures. St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow was commissioned by Ivan the Terrible and built on the edge of the Red Square between 1555 and 1561. It is well known for its swirling colors and red brick towers. Again, the visual repetition of the architecture references the stability of the church over time as St. Basil's managed to escape total destruction by both Napoleon and Stalin. <laughs>